Hey everybody, we've got to go get all the secrets, stars, and nabbits in worlds 5 and 6. So let's start out with Nabbit, because he's right here. I actually got all the coins in the uh, airship that preceded this world, so we can start off right here with Nabbit. He's keeping ahead of us a little bit. And unfortunately, the squirrel suit does slow us down a little bit with Nabbit. Every once in a while, you end up grabbing a wall that you may not want to grab, but we got him. He's not going to get away. And we'll get our reward. Hey, one of those. We'll make use of that at some point, I think. And with Nabbit out of the way, we also have some coins we need to get. This world... It's missing the third one, which we saw. It's not very easy to miss. Or... Not very hard to miss. It's hard to miss. It's right there. It's easy to get. Anyway, we've got to go to the ghost house, too. We're missing the second coin. Right here. Near the top of the level. You uh, just go through a secret wall, and you're here. Burst in. Bring your baby Yoshi with you. And you're done. Deep sea ruins. Missing first and third. First one is really obvious, and for whatever reason, when I came in here, I did not remember where it was. Just figured it was pretty early on in the level, and that I'd probably have to <laughs> stomp on these heads. But, uh, give you a hint. It does not involve stomping heads. That doesn't stop me from stomping as many heads as I can. But at least we got one of those bonefish out of the way. So, can you guess where the coin is? It's right there. Really easy to find. Not sure how I missed it the first time. Third one's a little trickier. These heads are falling everywhere. And it's dark. So it's very, very easy to maybe just miss where this coin is. Maybe not realize. That's there. Along with the secret exit. And yeah, let's just see if there's anything there. There's not. But just keep jumping on heads. Keep jumping on heads until we get to the exit. Pretty clever coin placement, and uh, I like that it led to the secret exit, too. Pretty cool. Good job, game. And since the first time we got the wrong exit, now, well, we can advance, even though we already have. And hey, there's Nabbit. We'll know where to find him next time. Missed the first coin in the Painted Jungle, as well as the regular exit. So, let's go grab it. Once again, there's not many places it could hide here, so I figured it has to be underneath us somewhere. So, let's check all the pipes. And luckily for me, I look like less of a, a fool here. Because it does end up being down one of the pipes. Just not down any of those pipes. Would have been pretty silly if, like with the heads, it just wasn't there at all. But, hey. There we go. Hopefully we don't meet up with that piranha plant inside. Pretty simple. We get it. We get some coins. I don't know why I thought some of those pipes might have something in them. And we've got to get the regular exit. Regular exit, uh, well, show off the little bit of the level we missed, and there it is. It's right after the secret exit. Simple. Okay. The evil Bowser's still there. It's all cool. He's not intimidating us. We're still going to save that princess. Well, we already saved that princess, but in theory, if we were still at this part of the game, we'd save the hell out of that princess. But now we've just gotta, we've just gotta get those coins so we can get to Superstar Road. But that was all the coins we needed in, in, sorry, um, Soda, Soda Jungle. 
And now we can head to the rock candy mines. This one's a little bit trickier without Yoshi. You're supposed to have Yoshi at this point, but unfortunately we lost them. But we do have a squirrel suit, so we've got a chance. Just gotta... No, just missed it. Just gotta jump across. Do a, right, do a good little wall jump, and we'll get it. There we go. We got the timing down. We're good. Porky Puffer Falls, unfortunately, is home to a couple of the uh, coins we missed. And it's a bit of a trickier level, especially when you're full. But here, this actually plays to our advantage, because, well, since we don't have a fire flower or an ice flower, we need to be tiny to get there. And we also need the third one, which is right up here. I think this is a bit of a jerk to find because, well, it's not a place you'd think to look, or that might have an invisible block, but whatever. I guess it's supposed to be challenging, it's supposed to be hidden, so it's hard to blame them. It's right there, right at the end of the level, so nice and easy to find once you know how to get it. I don't know. Anyway. Ah, we've got to do the Thrilling Spine Coaster, this, the hidden level of uh, World 6. This, as you can guess, is a Spine Coaster level. Spine Coaster is the thrilling version of, uh, or, well, Mario's thrilling version of Donkey Kong Country's minecart levels. It's, you know, neat. It's pretty cool. Pretty thrilling, I guess. Nothing too difficult here, although the coins are a little tricky. Especially the well, I guess especially the second and third. First one was pretty simple. Well, luckily, the uh, the red coins aren't too challenging, and I have no idea why they put this in here. No clue. It's just, I mean, I guess it just takes up a little bit of time, but it's not like they had to make this so slow. Figured for sure it would lead to a star coin. Is it a red herring? I don't know. We'll see what that has. And, well, I guess we won't see it, but there's uh, a star man in there. There's another star man available at the end of the level, which uh, will be important in a minute. We just missed the second coin. Very easy to miss, especially your first time through. Your second, you should you should see it. You should know where it is, but still, unless you know where where you're jumping. You're probably gonna miss it the first time. That's okay. It's quite alright. Anyway, made it to the end of the level. There would be a star man in there, but unfortunately, we didn't get the. Well, the one we needed to get. And thus, we can't get that coin. That's okay. Through the magic of editing, uh, once we beat this level. Once we get through the little cutscene, we'll get it. No, no, Mario, we're, we're gonna come back for it. Don't worry. He's all worried. But that's just his way. He's worried. He needs to learn to chill like his brother. His brother's very chill. Very relaxed. So let's get those coins. Oh. Okay, well, let's get a, a power up and then we'll get those coins. Okay. No, we, we don't have to say anything to Bowser. Yeah. What? It's actually very important to get that because uh, something you'll see later. Second coin. Third coin relies on Starman, as you could guess from the end. You need to hold on to this one till the end, though, because, well, we've seen the mechanic before. You have a Starman, you get to a question mark block, get another Starman. I barely made it in time. And we can just run and grab it. There's pretty much no way to get this unless you have the Starman because, well, you'll die even if you can take two hits on those. So, we got it. And we can head to Waddle Wing's Nest. Had a bit of trouble with it the first time since uh, this coin is a little tricky and the first one, first one's well hidden. 
Yes, spoiler, this is not actually the first coin. Even though I'm not too far into the level, I just grabbed the third one. That's okay. First one's over here. We're just gonna get it last, but we're not gonna let anyone know. Oh, one of these. This would be a pain in the ass if uh, this were Yoshi's Island, where I remember there being uh, some hidden secrets like this, but we can wall jump up, so I'm not sure what the point is, but whatever. Easy star coins are fine. And hey, it's Nabbit. Let's go get him. Yep. We're ready. Come on. Okay. Once again, we have the squirrel suit. It's actually just a coincidence. I didn't purposely grab a squirrel suit just for Nabbit this time. So, we'll get him. We'll get him. Actually, we're, we're doing pretty well. We're right on top of him. Oh. Nab? Nab it? It's okay. Calm down. Just calm down, buddy. Cal calm. Okay. We got him. Yeah, we did. We don't actually really need this because we're full up on items, but that's okay. That's cool. Ooh. Nabbit's okay. But, you know, we can we can toss a star man or something, I guess. Yep, we'll just get rid of that. I don't know if I've shown off that mechanic yet, so let's just call that a demo. And somehow we missed all the coins here. They're actually, you know, a little bit a little bit tough to find and or get, so it's understandable. This one's hidden very well. But uh it's not the, the hardest one to find because you'll notice Oh, there's a block there. And if you walk up to there, you will get a little bit of a hint. So, let's go slide under. Grab it. Let's go grab the Oh. Well, we've got a bunch of items, so let's bring some some backup. I end up doing this in a way where I wouldn't need the special squirrel suit, but whatever. It's fun to use. And we still need that second coin, though. Second coin is right up here. Not sure if there's anything pointing it out, but eventually you just kind of have to check everywhere. It's okay. Like I said, eh, not a bad thing that they're they're well hidden. It's kind of a, an odd little area, but that's fine. Got a theoretical extra life. And we're done with that level. So we can head out to the tower. Third coin, very well hidden. Not sure how they expect you to find this. I mean, I guess you might come up here, but... Well, who knows? Maybe it is very easy to find. Maybe everyone else does go up there, notices all the blocks, finds it. it took me a while, though. It's okay, though. It's okay. We're almost there. We've got a couple more coins to get in this video. We'll be good. If you saw the, uh, the LP, you would know that this one, well, requires you to bring a Koopa shell for a fairly long distance. And in theory, you want to come out here first to clear out the area. But, we got the coin, and we barely made it back onto the platform. So, everything's good. Finally, the last coin in the castle requires us to go in the back door. And to get to the back door, I think you need to go through the secret level to unlock uh, or to keep all the the red platforms in the position they need to be in but anyway this isn't too tough once you know you figure it out once you just jump on there all the platforms come into place and then you gotta hurry up a little bit but you grab it and you're done nothing too difficult 
nothing too hard. And that's pretty much it. Well, that's it for this video. Unfortunately for me, I forgot to save. If I have one complaint about this game, it's it doesn't prompt you to save after you've beaten it. And it doesn't autosave. So as I show off how to just beat this really quickly with the special squirrel suit, I'm just going to complain about that. I don't have very many complaints about this game, but I certainly think that's an oversight. When you beat a castle or something like that where you would save in the normal game, it really should just let, it should just warn you that you're going to save, or that you, you should save, or you know, just give you the option. Because, you know, you might forget to autosave. You might lose all the progress you made in this video. You have to go back and do it again. That's okay. That's cool. We're cool. Mario's number one.